Kelas 11 kurikulum merdeka kita masuk pada halaman 109 yaitu formatif tes. Bagian pertama mendengar mendengarkan dan berbicara. Ini ada transkrip uh, listening mendengarkan yang disediakan pada yang ada pada buku guru. Nah, di sini di bagian ini uh, di bagian dari tes ini kamu akan mendengarkan beberapa uh, teks naratif pendek. Teks naratif Teks dan pertanyaan-pertanyaannya akan diucapkan dua kali. Teks tersebut tidak akan dicetak pada buku kamu, sehingga kamu harus mendengarkannya dengan hati-hati dan mem untuk memahami apa yang diucapkan oleh si pembicara. Ada empat pertanyaan pada bagian ini. Masing untuk masing-masing pertanyaan, pilihlah jawaban yang benar antara A, B, C, D, atau E. Nah ini dia teksnya, kemari kita dengarkan bersama-sama. Once upon a time, in a seaside village in Padang, West Sumatra, there lived a poor widow called Mande Rubaya with her only son, Malin Kandang. Mande Rubaya had to work really hard to support their daily life. One day, as Malan Kundang turned adult, he asked his mom to let him hitch a docked ship nearby and wander to the big cities to get better fortunes for the family. Even though his mother got in the way, Malin still insisted on going. Finally, with a heavy heart, Monday Rubaya allowed his son to go. Days by days passed, after years of waiting for her son, one day. Monday Rubaya heard a news from her neighbor that a large ship docked near the village and that the beautiful large ship belonged to Malin Kundang and his wife. Monde Rubaya immediately went to see her son, My son, Malin, you are finally back, dear. Monday cried happily to see Malin Kundang and his very beautiful wife walk off the ship. Unexpectedly, Malin shook and pushed his mom away from him. When his wife asked him who that old woman was, he answered frantically, She is an old beggar who wants to ask for a small part of our wealth. Monde Rubaya was really shocked and upset. She fell on her knees, hugging her son's feet. Feeling ashamed of his wife, Malin immediately kicked his mother and said, Go away, old beggar. I am not your son. Hearing that, Monde Rubaya cried broken-hearted. She left her son while praying to God, My dear God, if I got it wrong and that he was not my son, please forgive him. However, if he is my son, Malin Kundang, I do ask for your righteousness. Not long after Monde Rubaya said her prayer, big rains fell upon the earth, huge storm shook Malin's ship and terrible thunder hit his ship. On the following day, people saw a kneeling man-shaped stone on the coastline. People believe that it is Malin Kundang who kneels for his mother's forgiveness. Nah, itulah ceritanya. Jangan lupa subscribe dan like videonya. Mudah-mudahan bermanfaat. Sampai jumpa.